as an Australian-US affair. Well, they're wrong. In case you haven't noticed, the Dutch have snuck into town with a double-barreled plan of attack. Two hotshots, freestyle flyer Peter van der Hugenband and Inge de Braun have made minor headlines here. In Europe, they're royalty. I felt like a lot of people are like pulling, you know, at me and I really have to get used to it, you know, because I've never been in a position like that. But it's fun, but it's also pretty much um, exhausting too. But she's also been dogged by the flip side of fame. It's the controversy generated by the remarkable improvement in her times this year. It makes me kind of sad, you know? It depends on who says it, of course, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much sad. And, you know, if, if they want to put their energy in that, it's fine with me. But I'm just going to put my energy in swimming and focus and practice hard like I did before, because, you know, I'm not going to let that bother me. Even her 100-meter butterfly rival, the normally reticent Susie O'Neill, reportedly called De Brown's performances sus. It's actually something between me and Susie, but it kind of like got in the uh, in the open air. But um, I think that shows a real athlete for Susie that she did apologize. But um, you know, it's no biggie. I mean, it's it's okay. Inga has a simple explanation for the turnaround in her performances. She was selected to swim in Atlanta, but declined blaming lack of motivation. Instead, she committed herself to an intensive four-year campaign to take her from ordinary to extraordinary. I mean, I know what I did to, to get there, and, you know, I'm not going to let anybody disturb um, that. Because, you know, I worked hard, and, you know, I left my country, my friends, my family, everything to, to, to be where I'm at right now. Everyone talks about the home crowd advantage. For Inga de Brown, the pool, holds no fears. I know the pool, you know, I've been there a couple of times and and I heard it's gonna be a you know big crowd sitting there in the stands and I love that. I really get a kick out of that. I always pretend that they all came for me, you know, it sounds weird, but I just do that. <laughs> you know, you're not gonna hear from me that I am gonna get three gold medals, no way. That's what the media is always saying. But for me, before the world records I always told myself like Man, if I could only get a medal, you know, in the Olympic Games, because I've never had that ever in my life. <laughs>